A full tank of propane can generate the same explosive force as over 100 kilograms of TNT. Stored inside a shipping container, this tank became a bomb. Workers at a construction site used this barbecue during their morning break. Afterwards, the burner valves were turned off. In the afternoon, the barbecue, with its tank connected, was carried into a shipping container used to store equipment. Shortly after, the doors on the container were locked. The valve on the barbecue's propane tank had been left on. One of the burner valves was also on, likely opened inadvertently while the barbecue was being carried. Propane gas leaked into the container. Heavier than air, it filled the container from the bottom up. The container's vents were too high and too small to vent the propane. Overnight, the propane built up to form an explosive atmosphere. Early next morning, a worker unlocked the doors to an office container and then unlocked the equipment container storing the barbecue. He didn't smell any propane. He returned to and entered the office container. Inside the equipment container was a soft drink cooler. As its cooling system cycled, its thermostat's relay generated a spark. The propane ignited. The container exploded, throwing the worker against the wall of the office container. Fortunately, he survived with only minor injuries. The property damage was extensive. Windows of nearby buildings and vehicles were shattered. The explosion was so powerful that one of the equipment container's doors, weighing over a hundred kilograms, flew across the street into a park. How can we prevent similar incidents? Store refillable propane tanks like the one in this incident outdoors in a well-ventilated area. The instructions for this barbecue say that if you plan to store the barbecue indoors, you need to disconnect and store the tank outdoors. Shipping containers are commonly used at construction sites to store supplies and equipment. For weather resistance, they are designed to be sealed with only small vents providing limited ventilation. This design traps flammable vapors and gases, increasing the risk of fire and or explosion. Adequate ventilation is a key factor to reducing that risk. So, if you do use shipping containers to store flammable substances, such as paints and fuels, and even equipment containing fuel, make sure those containers have adequate ventilation and are designed for the safe containment of the substances. Some municipalities have specific bylaws regarding the use of shipping containers for storing flammable substances. Check your local bylaws and also the BC Fire Code for additional requirements.